Hey guys, um, it's the second week in July. Hope everybody's enjoying their summer. Um, I'm just doing this little pedal tractor for uh, somebody local in the community here. And um, I got started on it and I thought it might be nice for you guys to kind of tag along and watch if you guys are getting bored this summer. The only thing you've missed is I pulled the, uh, I pulled the pins out of the uh, out of the wheels pulled the wheels off the steering wheel was already off I turned it upside down uh, somebody had started kind of the paint was already gone off of this thing it just wore out and somebody had like started sanding it a little bit uh, when you operated the pedals uh, the wheels didn't really turn I took the uh, access panel off just a few screws you haven't missed anything it goes right here. Um, what I found was that the outside, the outside wheel, that right there is supposed to be a keyway, meaning that's supposed to be flat on two sides to match up with, see how that, that's flat? What that does is that lets it drive the wheels, but it also allows one wheel to spin freely because if they both spun all the time a little kid wouldn't be able to wouldn't be able to steer it because it would be it's called a spool is what they call call it when both wheels are spinning at the same time anyway that's all you've missed right now I'm going to continue taking this stuff apart what I'm going to be doing is this is not going to be like a show quality restoration but I'm just going to paint this up and the little kid's going to actually use it when we're done all right guys I, uh, I got the one axle extension off. There it is sitting right there. And typical, this is what happens. The hardest bolt to get to, and it's not that hard, it has stripped the head off. And um, the other end of it's in there. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, you might be tempted to chisel or give this thing a smack but this pot metal that's what i always call it it's brittle and it'll break so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a cutoff wheel and i'm basically going to grind that head off and try and stay out of this piece uh, and that'll let that bolt come out so we'll see how this works all right i couldn't film me grinding i'm the only one in here i'm in my shop now as you can see i've ground uh almost all the way through this i didn't want to grind anymore because i don't want to hit this case I nicked it a little bit right there, but I'll be able to sand that out. It's just a scratch. So I got a punch here, a makeshift punch, and I'm gonna see if I can see if I can hold. Well, take my word for it. I can't hold the camera and um, knock this out at the same time. I'll knock it out and I'll come back to you. You can see I I was able to knock that out and uh, we'll be able to pull that off. And remember, I was talking about the end of that axle being being square uh, that's so that it'll drive that wheel but anyway I got that off now I think I might be able to take this whole assembly out of here see if I can prop this tractor up a little bit better got my Harbor Freight jack stands there we go all right let's see here there we go. There. Now we got all the drivetrain out of her. Um, probably going to leave that front, those front wheels on there. Uh, now I'm basically going to uh, get those stickers removed and we'll DA this thing down. Okay, guys. Um, I spent about an hour or so. Um, this is 180 grit and I used a. a a rough cut DA. Well, that's what I call that—a rough cut DA. Um, it's faster. It works perfect for this. And I've got, I've got all the pieces sanded. They're pretty much ready. I called this pot metal earlier. Uh, it's still what I call it, but it's actually cast aluminum. But uh, see how it's rough. I mean, it, it's it's cast. Cast means when they pour all the melted stuff, aluminum in this case, into a mold, and they pop it out. And and it's and like all that. 
it's just made that way and i don't know how many of you have ever messed with one of these tractors or maybe have one when you were little um that's how they were so we're basically going to be priming this with a direct to metal primer that's made to bite right into this and then we're going to be painting it john deere green and then of course yellow uh for the sake of keeping the cost down on this i'm just going to be painting these plastic wheels and i'm not going to uh i may go get some more of these locking cats um because these are rusty and i don't want to paint over that uh i'm not going to get crazy and pull all this apart because it'll get really expensive i mean in the, in, the, in the tractor is it's not worth spending that kind of money on but it's going to look nice when we're done um but uh that's where we're at right now i'm going to take a break for a while and maybe i'll get back to this tomorrow all right yesterday i got the the tractor all prepped up sanded ready for primer and today i'm going to work on these wheels i don't remember at the beginning of this video i showed you or not uh when you operated the pedals which are hooked to a chain um the wheel was was slipping well the reason that is yeah um i explained to you how like a differential works in the and a spool when when both wheels spin at the same time you wouldn't be able to turn it so one wheel has to free free spin anyhow if you see that hole right there you can see that it's a little bit egged out okay it's not perfectly round well it's not supposed to be it's not even supposed to be that close to being round if you look at the end of the shaft this is the axle that goes between the two wheels see how that is flat on both sides that hole right there is supposed to be it works like a key it's not supposed to spin and it has reamed that hole out and that's why it wouldn't operate now what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld I'm going to take my MIG welder I'm going to weld on this side and on this side and then I'm gonna I'm gonna grind it with a little die grinder. I'll show you that, um, so that it matches, so that it's flat on both sides. Now, if we flip this wheel over, this hole is supposed to be round. Uh, it's supposed to be round like that one. Well, you can see that it's all egged out, misshapen, and that is a sleeve that little shiny ring right there it's acting as a bushing well um i'm a pack rat i save stuff well i have uh gone through my junk drawer and found this little sleeve you could go to the hardware store and get a little piece of pipe or whatever this will fit it's going to fit in here perfectly and i'll weld it i'll weld it in place then it take out <clears throat> all that slop and i'm going to have to clean the end of this shaft up but it's also perfectly fits that perfect a little grease on it that'd be good so what i'm going to do right now is take my little baby grinder here as i call it it's got a 36 grit disc on it and i'm going to going to clean this hole up and i'm going to clean this one up up it may need a little bit more over here but see how it's got flat sides on it now what now what i've done it looks kind of cobby right now, but I took and I MIG welded. Let me see if that'll focus for us here. I MIG welded the end of this shaft. I had to put some metal on it because remember it has to be flat on both sides to match that hole. I'm going to take it over to a bench grinder and grind the flat spots on it. Now, basically, I'm using that steel, that weld, as filler for this. Uh, for this shaft. I'll grind it and I'll show it to you when I'm done. Okay. I had to weld that hole up quite a bit more because every it was wallowed out a whole lot worse than I thought. But and and then I had to weld I had to weld some more on the end of this axle. That's not bad for just a MIG welder and a file and a bench grinder and I'll show you how it fits here trying to hold this one hand uh, let's see here if I can okay 
Now you can see now that that wheel is going to turn with the axle. You know what I mean? It's not going to slip. So now what we have to address is this great big egged out hole right here. And what we're going to do is now what you got to remember on this side, the axle and the wheel are going to be locked together. So it's not going to spin inside of there. But what we're going to do is I, I found this sleeve. Like I said, you could have used a piece of pipe. And what we're going to do is we're going to take, gonna take this flat washer. And we're going to slip it on the end of the axle. We're going to take the sleeve. We're going to slip it on the end of the axle. Put the axle in the hole. We got it keyed. Now, what we're going to do is I am going to true this axle up in the hole and I'm going to ruin, I'm going to weld this washer in several spots and that's going to, that's going to center everything up and then make sure that it's, it's true and straight. So I'll get this tacked up and I'll show you what we got. All right. I got that all tacked up. Well, actually it's more than tacked up. It's fine. It's got plenty of weld on there. That seats up good. And you can see that the other side just slides on. Um, so basically the axle's done. I just got to get some paint, get these wheels prepped up and get them painted. It's coming along good. I've got these wheels. I'll sand it down. They they are rough. I mean, like I said, this isn't a restoration job, or not 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 a restoration job where you're trying to win any awards. But um, it's gonna look nice when we're done. Now I got to take these tires up, and I'm gonna get them primed and painted. Hopefully, I'll get that done today. 